Hi there, Virgos. Welcome to your mid-March. Um, I feel like it is within the work environment. I, I, I'm seeing like the office setting. If you, especially if you work in an office, a cubicle, there might just be you know um, words thrown around. People might not be co too cooperative with one another. I just feel like a very high energy, possibly like a, a very um, somebody who's very dynamic, somebody who is like when they speak I don't feel this is you I feel like it's somebody around you when they speak they're very uncensored like they're very unfiltered so they just say whatever is coming to, to their mind and they can be a little bit hurtful but I don't feel they mean it okay so if you are like more of the sensitive types I feel like it might cut you the wrong way so just know that I feel like it's harmless they're just very unfiltered and they might say something harsh um, my advice is try to lay low on the work environment and also um, if you hear people gossiping or if you hear people talking badly about somebody else just don't get involved okay I know that you don't get involved anyways but you know don't just uh, stand there and um, and listen in and see what they have to say because a lot of the times these um, office politics sometimes it's better to not know at all okay it might your bias your opinion of uh, other people the rumors or whatever it is that's being thrown about might be false so you don't want it to bias your judgment of a person that you don't know especially in your work environment all right what I do feel as well is um I do sense that um, for a lot of you there is that office romance situation again there's somebody that you like in the the work environment I feel and that's why work is becoming more exciting it's more dynamic as a result of it but at the same time you know it brings a lot of these um, like just gossip and rumors and it brings about this very unsettling energy find whatever you need to do to stabilize your work situation okay and that means don't get involved just don't get involved um, in the the gossip as for everything else do what you want but just make sure you stabilize your work situation first with Virgos if your work situation is not stable you're not going to be happy and you're not going to be you know pulling in overtime which might diminish your chances of getting promotion so you know think about things a little bit more long term what I do feel is there is a very strong connection in the work front okay a very strong soul connection with somebody in a work environment so especially for those of you who are working for a corporation who are working in I'm sensing I'm, I'm feeling like um, a very stone this is weird but um, it's like a stone base building so it's not it doesn't feel to me like it's cement or it could be cement but made to look like stone made to look rustic made to look old like an institution like an educational institution a library if you're working in a place where the building itself is made of stone or it's carved out to make like to be made like stone I feel like the the messages it might be applicable to you more than anything if there are a lot of trees around your work environment I feel like the message might apply to you um, I also want to say as well, and I was getting this, um, I think it's being crossed by the star card, the wishes, hopes, aspirations, and dreams, and, and things like that, okay? It's a wish card. Um, it is crossing this queen of swords. And um, I'm actually, you know, usually if it's a person and it's the, the wish card lands on top of it, the star usually indicates our path, okay? The path that we're meant to take and the path that is actually very, very good for us. However, there are some issues here, and I, I'm going to go back to this because I want to describe the surrounding circumstances first so that you can better um, assess the situation and figure out for yourself what you want to do, okay? So first of all, let's talk at let's look at the past situation. So this is like spanning the past three months. We have the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is a card about regrets, sorrow, loss, and dealing with disappointment. However, you still have two cups in your future, and it's right around the corner. It's like right there for you to grab. However, you're dwelling on a situation from your past, so you don't see these opportunities in front of you. Okay, there is somebody in your midst, and you feel as if you know um, you're not ready yet. So you you can't really 
this person can't come into the fold until you are emotionally ready. So I just want to keep that in mind. A lot of you have dealt with loss, okay? Loss of people in your lives. Either they have passed on or they have physically, there, there is like some type of disconnect between you and the people that you, you once shared a life with, I feel. For uh, others of you, I feel like it might be a divorce situation where, you know, the, the ex-wife, the ex-spouse, and the kids are no longer there with you. So it's really hard to move on from something like that because not only did you lose a relationship partner, there might have been children, there might have been uh, old ways of doing things, there might have been, you know, that loss of stability, okay? And I feel that a lot of you, somebody else is trying to come through for you and the universe is trying to guide you towards a new path. Now with this air sign person, it could be male or female, the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, the physical aspect, there is like very strong magnetic pull associated with this person because crowning this reading here is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands usually indicates to me a brand new spark of passion. This is traditionally, you know, like moving home type of card as well. Finding a new property that really resonates with you. Finding, you know, new passion, new ways of living your life. But overall, it is a card about enthusiasm and passion. So a lot of you have overcome this situation where, you know, you're, you're over the hurt and the disappointment. And there's a new person in your life. You have potentially moved house, like moved out on your own. You're in a new environment. And the foundation is the Ten of Cups. So the, the reading is like zigzagging back and forth. And that's why it's really difficult to, to find out where this air sign fits in your life because it keeps zigzagging. So first of all, I'm going to say if there has been rumors around you in your work environment, this person I feel might be in your work environment. So getting the relationship off the ground is very, very cumbersome. It's very difficult. A lot of you as well have some baggage. Like this is like, you know, the traditional moving home card where you're physically picking up all of your things and you're moving it from one location to the next, okay? This is also a situation where there is a lot of work being dumped upon you and you're pressed for time. However, I feel that... Work is always going to be like this with every single Virgo. Work is always going to be like this. So you have to learn to say no. And you also take on a lot more responsibilities because you want it done right. And you know that if you were to tackle these projects, they're going to come to fruition because you know how to do them and you know how to do them right the first time. So I feel like you're taking a lot of responsibilities on just willingly. And there's nothing wrong with that. But make sure you make time to explore this new love relationship or this new sense of passion in your life, okay? A lot of you have many, many, many new projects that you're trying to get off the ground. And what I, I mean is that you might have like a lot of clients. You might have a lot of just projects that you're pitching to those around you. I feel a lot of travel associated as well with it as well. I feel that, you know, if you, for example, have 10 projects and you're trying to pitch and you're trying to get funding or you're trying, you're like a salesperson, there is, um, there will be some rejections, but there will be also some acceptance for your project. So not to worry. I feel like that's just the, the standard thing. Okay. I feel that you're pressed for time as well. So don't take on too much and make sure you spend enough time with your partner. Okay. Um, what I feel here is with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords deals with decisiveness. It deals with the dissemination of information. It's crossed by the Star card, which I feel is like um, there is no need to protect information for this month, okay? It is really important for you to share information first of all. Don't hoard it. I don't feel that you would do that, but I, for some reason, I'm led to say that there's no reason to hoard all the information there's no reason to um, keep everything like under lock and key there is also a, a very good impetus for you to express your opinions to talk about these things to incorporate more people into your with your ideas or and try to integrate 
people and ideas, bring them together, I feel that it's going to lighten your workload, it's going to be more beneficial for you in the long run. So there's no reason why you have to, you know, hoard these ideas, okay? And in terms of the advice here, we do have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, when it shows up in the reverse position, it is a very, very good card. It basically means whatever was kept from you is coming into the light, okay? It's being revealed. Whatever uncertainty that you've had to deal with, God knows, you know, like for how long, or even since the beginning of the month, it is being lifted so that you can move, see a path forward. So I feel like a lot of um, clarity, a lot of like clearing up of confusion, uncertainty, self-doubts even, or, you know, f finally figuring out, having a sense of direction as to where you're headed, where you're going, and people's intentions, okay? So this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's just, you know, the that, that clarity, knowing what is happening around you and having all the, the pieces of information fall into place so that you can see the big picture. So overall, it looks very good. Um, in terms of your external environment, we do have the Page of Cups in the reverse position. This card deals with offers that are insincere. Usually it is of a love nature, but in this spread, I feel like friendship, love, uh, business associates, people being kind of um, fake or false, or they make promises, they throw things out and about in the, at the moment's whim without you know any um, intention of long-term commitment or even long-term um, follow-through okay so this can be somebody casually telling you oh let's meet up together for dinner and then they never call to follow up okay they know what they're doing and I feel like that's what people do when they don't know what to say and usually you know with a Virgo you retain information very well and you hold people accountable for their words and for their actions so it seems like a lot of things like this is happening around you with other people around you this is your external environment so I feel like you you might want to be careful there might be people that tell you you know oh, I'm going to help you do such and such and then you end up um, on your own okay or be just be very careful especially if this is in your work environment where you feel people acting extra friendly and you have a very highly um, in tune intuition okay it's, it's very, very, it's like, it's really sharp this month so that you can screen out these people and you can avoid them. So it could be, you know, people that you, you have just casual relationships with or even friendships with and they feel like they're trustworthy and you're just like on the verge of opening up to them and you feel that then all of a sudden they renege on their promises. So it's a warning sign. So just be very careful about who you rely on and also who you share information with. And I know the, the information is conflicting, but what I do sense in general is, Virgos, you know who you can trust, okay? You're not one to open yourselves up lightly. So I feel that it's a little bit annoying, you know, for the last two weeks that you're dealing with this energy. But I feel that for a lot of you, you have already known who these people are and you might have already put up that wall to protect them from coming any closer. So just be careful about that, okay? Um, in terms of your hopes and fears, we have the world card. And the world card usually indicates to me hoping for travel, hoping for opportunities to uh, do something new, hoping for adventures, hoping for freedom, and not having to live in this little bubble where you feel restricted, okay? This is also like, um, there's a big heart in there. So it's kind of like hoping for that relationship partner that is going to change your life, okay? And what I do sense is that there is somebody here in the picture. And it shows to me as a uh, an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. It's lined up with the star, which is like the direction that you're supposed to steer your life. It's like the guidance, the spiritual guidance. It is somebody divinely brought into your life. And I feel like that's what you're really looking at. But for some reason, this relationship, to get the relationship off the ground, for some reason, it feels very difficult. And I feel like it could be circumstantial. You know, you might work together and you can't date. Or people are just um, not approving of this relationship for some reason. 
it's just really hard for you to get this relationship off the ground. And, and I feel like, you know, I'm reading for a lot of Virgos out there. So it's just, it's hard. It's hard. And the, the real reason might be very different for each and every one of you. But what I feel is that for a lot of you, you might still be in a marriage situation. You're separated, but you're not divorced. Or you're thinking about separation, but none of the actions have been concretely taken. At the same time, I feel like there might be that, you know, that same age gap situation that we're talking about. Because we have like a page energy here, which is a very, very young energy. And then we have the world here, which is a very, it's like the world has been around for a long time so we can already see there is some type of um, I feel like there's there's just it, it's hard to get this relationship off the ground even though it is divine guided it divinely guided towards your path it is somebody that is crossing your path they are checking off your your uh, requirements list and you feel like it could be the one actually because um, Whenever I see this card, it's sort of like, this is what I want. So I'm, I'm looking out, scoping my environment to find exactly this, because this is what I want. So you already know what it is that you want to do. So for a lot of you, um, there is somebody already in your environment. And I feel like this, you're taking a break from this. Mainly because I, I feel, because the person is showing up in the upright position, I feel that, you know, Queen of Swords especially, it is somebody who is very sharp, who is very intelligent, um, but sh she or he might be lacking in emotional warmth. So they're not the, the, the warmest, fuzziest, and cuddliest people that you will encounter, okay? And I feel like that's what's lacking here. There's a lot of passion, there's a lot of attraction, but in terms of the Ten of Cups, it's sort of like... You, I feel like you've been through a lot of um, broke, like just bad relationships or even dating and you're kind of emotionally and spiritually depleted and you might want to cling on to like somebody who's a little bit more receptive like a water sign or a fire sign but I feel like that they're they just don't feel right so I feel like a lot of you are drawn to the air sign mainly because you're ruled by the planet Mercury and you actually like people who are very intelligent, who are good communicators, who have like, um, there's a way of speaking about this person that drives you, you know, just, they, they just know how to appeal to you on an intellectual level and I feel like it's on an, a purely intellectual level and the emotional depth is it's hard to get off the ground and it doesn't mean that it's not there it just means that you know you have to find ways to cultivate it because I feel like the chemistry is there the passion is there and usually the emotional depth if you give it some time it's going to flow in but in the meantime it's going to take some time I feel like it takes a month for them to open up because it's an air energy so they are a little bit more emotionally vacant and distant okay so that's what I'm feeling here in terms of other offers coming through, a lot of you might be discouraged that this situation is not coming together fast enough. So in the meantime, you are distracting yourself with other people, but I feel like it's all, you know, just, it's all just temporary, okay? And I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like, it, for you though, Virgos, I feel like it's more trouble than it's worth. I feel that it's more trouble than it's worth. So, you know, just don't distract yourself. Because I don't feel that um, it's you, and I don't feel that it's going to be good for you. And uh, you're a pretty conservative sign, I feel. Being an earth sign and also being the Virgo in energy. I feel that it's going to aggravate you having to text people, follow up with them, you know, like, where are we going? We mentioned we're going to, you know, have dinners on such and such date at such and such time at certain restaurant. And all this back and forth, just for people you don't really care for too much, I don't feel it's worth the time. And you're very efficient with time. So I just don't feel that you're going to be, you're going to think it's worth it, okay? So do a little bit of reassessment and figure out what you can do differently in order to bring this relationship, prop up this relationship and bring it into the fold. 
I would say, you know, go to a, if you're dealing with this problem, if you're dealing with somebody who is very intelligent, but just emotionally vacant, take them by the, to the beach, have a bonfire or something like that. Take it, take them to a seaside landscape, take them, them to the zoo, do something out of the ordinary. Okay. So take them to the zoo, see some animals, um, do the Ferris wheel, do some, you know, weird things, because I feel like not only will it break down the barriers between you, I feel like it's, um, it's going to be exciting, and that's what they really need. They need to be kind of taken out of their element unexpectedly in order for them to feel comfortable, I feel. And that sounds weird, but that's what they need, okay? Now, let's look at the outcome. So first of all, the outcome looks good. Uh, we have here the Five of Wands in the reverse position. So this is pretty much the end to conflict, okay? It's coupled up with, first of all, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands in the reverse position usually indicates to me like a marriage situation, the end to conflict in a marriage situation. The Four of Wands, other times it can also signify like an office, a house, a physical dwelling. So I feel as if a lot of you are busy redecorating your house, buying furniture, items, in order to make it a home, okay? So there is like a new end to old relationships. There's new um, place of living. There is somewhat like a lot more harmony being brought into the house because there's like clearing up of old energies I feel coming through and it starts within your home environment, okay? What I'm also feeling is, for those of you who are in a work environment, especially when I mentioned, you know, earlier about having working in a place where the building is made of stone, it's made to look rustic or it's surrounded by a lot of trees, I do feel that there's that sense of comfort coming in regarding your work environment and especially your house environment, okay? There's a lot of stability that is going to come through for you the second half of this um this uh, month. A lot of you, if you have recently uh, broken up with a relationship partner and you that you thought was like it, that you thought was like the, the person that will be with you for the long haul, I do feel the new person is marriage material, okay? A lot of you might have started like a new job situation or, or were like in a probationary period in a job environment. I feel like there might have been a few things that you, you're beating yourself up over because you, f you felt like you messed up. Not to worry, you didn't mess up on anything. I rarely see Virgos mess up in the workplace. So if you feel that you messed up, it's because the, that situation has never been encountered in that work environment. So it was like the first. You're the one that basically discovered, oh, by the way, this is something where we could potentially mess up on. So I feel like you're fine. Don't worry too much if you're going through that probationary period because I feel that a lot of you might be trying to overcompensate by taking on a lot more work than, than you need to just because you've, you're, you feel bad and you feel as if you messed up, okay? So don't feel bad. If it's a work environment, it looks to be very stable. They are going to give you new projects. Um, once again, don't play martyr in the work environment. It is not your job to pick up other people's slack, okay? I feel like a lot of uh, co-workers that you've had problems with are being weaned out of your work environment as well. As a result of it, they might not hire people fast enough. So then the workload automatically falls on you, which is really sad, but it's going to be temporary. It's going to be temporary, so don't worry about it, okay? So overall, the next two weeks, I feel time constraints coming through. Spend time with your significant other and try to um, balance out the work-life situation, okay? And honestly, Virgos, for the next two weeks, it's okay for you to like relax and play hooky if you need to. It's really okay for you to go to the beach just because. Take a day off, call in sick, whatever you need to do. And take some, some mental health days because I feel like you need it. And we all need it. And a lot of the times, you know, um, I feel like for a lot of you, you might have just like recovered from an illness. You're taking medication. You're feeling a little bit sleepy. And you feel like um, you're like chugging coffee in order to stay up is what I'm sensing. Because I feel like possibly like cough syrup, something with your throat, 
and then you're groggy and you're or and you're taking medicine you're groggy and you're chugging extra coffee and then you're perked up so I feel like this fluctuation in your energy level okay and it, it has to do with the fact that uh, the mix of medicine caffeine medicine caffeine so um, try to take non drowsy medicine that's uh, my advice or try to do you know the whole um, alternative medicine route mainly because there are less side effects okay so that came in earlier I also feel that there is a really, really important relationship that you need to cultivate. And I feel almost as if it's really hard for you to get this situation off the ground. And obviously, that's going to be very different for different people. I feel there is some health situation that can make this situation very difficult to get off the ground. And I don't really know how the, the home service health industry works, but I feel that, you know, every uh, few days or every like a few days out of the month, maybe you should try to detox and, you know, try to get yourself out of that environment just to get a c better perspective, okay? Because I feel like it's heavily laden with work affecting your mental state as well, all right? So I do wish you the best, Virgos.